The first week was certainly baptism by fire, um, and I thought I may have been coming home on the Wednesday. But um, I've lived the two weeks there, so I got into the swing of things with Adrian there and then by myself, and then we got to come home. I'm living with two of the other um, girls from the team and um, it's a laugh a minute. Uh, we are based in Concord, so not too far from Sydney Olympic Park, so there's no excuses for being late for training. Yeah, this is probably the closest I've ever been to just doing pure netball, so I'm a little bit weary, but I think it'll be a nice change. I must admit, I think when I first went in, I was very timid, um, like taking baby steps, like working on eggshells. I remember probably when Adrian was there, there was a moment when he was like, well, you know, you've made this decision, you've got to front up. So yeah, I had to be like, right, this is how they do things around here. I've got to stand up and match it. Um, what the Swiss do well is uh, you do you. You get yourself sorted 100%, set the bar high, and that bar doesn't move. So every training we're hitting that, um, we're hitting that standard and there's no compromises. It's been a while since I've been in an environment where they say a team drill, I've got no idea what it is, and I'm trying to shuffle to the back of the line to get a gist of it. So it's been a real test of being able to get in, switch on, get the nerves um, under control and focus whilst you're trying to focus on being fast, passing hard. So yeah, the level of expectation in the environment is massive. You think there wouldn't be a language barrier between Australia and New Zealand, but let me confirm there definitely is. Uh, they struggle to understand. I am missing my cookie times really bad. So I'm searching for a sweet treat from my after games. But thank you very much, Cookie Time, for the box that I received. Um, I will confirm they are all gone. <laughs>